Oh, hi. We didn't see you there. Hello friends. A few weeks ago, I asked you all what videos you wanted to see for me this summer, and one that was highly requested was how to style shorts. I am honored you all trust me to come up with some good shorts styling ideas, because honestly, they're really hard to style in a way that actually feels like an outfit. But today, we're going to do just that. Also, if you're wondering why I'm in a different setting, I'm visiting my parents' house back in Wisconsin right now. All right, let's get into it. First, I just want to talk about the different types of shorts we can use when styling. I feel like a lot of us tend to default to just sort of the same plain everyday shorts over and over, I know I do, but different types of shorts can create a totally different vibe in an outfit. First, different silhouettes in shorts can give an outfit a very different look. Longer or baggier shorts look much more casual and relaxed, while shorter or slimmer shorts can look a little more polished and sleek. Different materials and styles also make a huge difference. Athletic shorts like bike shorts, board shorts, or other workout or gym shorts add more more of a cool sporty element to an outfit. Something more tailored can look a little bit more dressed up. Denim or cargo shorts can look more casual or workwear inspired. And something really frilly or light and floaty like bloomers can add a really dainty feminine touch. A fun color pattern or texture can also be used to just add a stronger visual impact to any outfit, regardless of the style. And the longer or bigger those shorts are, the more that color or pattern will make a statement. I'm sure there are even more shorts options and types of shorts out there that I didn't even think of. If anyone has any great shorts genres <laughs> to share, please drop them in the comments. And if you're in the market for some new shorts, I would definitely suggest thinking about some other types besides your regular go-tos. All of that said, I know we are mainly looking for ways to style the shorts we already own. I know I own mostly basic neutral shorts myself. Don't worry, the rest of the ideas in this video are with regular shorts like these in mind. All right, now that we've discussed our shorts options, it's time to get into tops. I know we all tend to default to just a regular t-shirt or tank top, but even just switching that out for a slightly more interesting top can level up your look into something a little more special and interesting. For a slightly more elevated take on a super simple everyday look, an easy breezy button up works great, or you can go with a bolder pattern or color for a funkier look. Honestly, a bolder color or pattern in general can make a shorts outfit really fun, even if it is just shorts and a tank top. I also love to pair more poofy, frilly, feminine blouses or tank tops with shorts, especially some more casual shorts like denim, cargo shorts, or even gym shorts if you really want to play up that fun juxtaposition. Tube tops are also a fun choice that's just slightly more summery and fun, and I also think polo shirts or any like knitted collared shirt are so easy and casual. They're basically the exact same thing as a t-shirt, but just a little bit more cool and interesting because I never see them. Are polos about to make a comeback? I feel like I could see that happening. If you want more of like a trendy Pinterest girl look, you're trying to signal to the other fashion girlies on the street that you're one of them, then going with a vest as a top, a sports jersey, an asymmetrical top, or one with cutouts will definitely do the job. Oh, and if you're feeling like something that exposes a little more skin, maybe you're looking for a night out outfit or it's just super, super hot outside, I think a sheer top like this one, tying a scarf as a top, or wearing a corset top or bra or bikini top as your top are all so cute and feel a little extra special, extra summery, great for an occasion like a party or a concert or a festival. Of course, layering in summer is a bit of a challenge, but there are a couple options ranging from super simple to a little more creative. My first super simple suggestion is an overshirt. A loose button-up layered on top of even a plain tank top or t-shirt just adds such an easy, casual, cool element. You can go super simple with plain white or again add in a really funky bright color or pattern. And both short and long sleeve button-ups work great for this. You can also go for a flannel for a grungier vibe. I think I said this in another video, but I think flannels are a forgotten staple that's gonna make a comeback soon. Anyway, overshirts make a great super light layer. Plus, even if it's too hot to wear the overshirt outside, they're great for situations where like you have to go in between inside and outside and it's always overly air conditioned inside so it's too cold but then outside is too hot you can take these on and off as needed another option that can be used in basically all the exact same situations is a vest and honestly these are even better for summer because they don't have sleeves so they truly add virtually no heat you can add one over a t-shirt a tank top a button-up a frilly blouse and again you can go plain and neutral or bright and busy, depending on your style. Another more specific layering piece I love pairing with shorts is 
a blazer. I think it's the contrast of the more polished formal jacket with something that is so inherently casual and sort of childlike. It just creates a very fun friction. I styled some shorts with a blazer in my recent gender neutral outfits video. If you're interested in that, you can watch it right here. And that is when I discovered I love this look. And of course, so many other types of jackets can also look so cool paired with shorts. I do think part of why jackets look cool with shorts is because it's unexpected and that's because it's not actually all that practical in most contexts. However, when it does apply, maybe you have a day to night or an indoor to outdoor transition, consider a jacket. There are so many different types of jackets and coats. You can go long, you can go short, you can go classic and neutral, you can go with a bright color or pattern, you can do a windbreaker, a fleece, a chore coat, a leather or denim jacket, a varsity or motocross jacket, if you're extra trendy and you have one of those, or even a cardigan, which isn't actually a jacket, but it's just another good option as an overlayer. All right, now it's time to get into some more unique, less common layering combos that still work with shorts. And my first one is to layer a tank or tube top over a flowier sleeved top. The shirt underneath could be a collared button-up, it could be a puff sleeve blouse, any sort of flowy top. And then on top, you could layer any more structured tank top, tube top, a corset top would be really cute. Or you could even do the tying a scarf as a top trick as a layer over your blouse, like I've done here. Obviously, you could do this with any bottoms, but this is a pretty good combo for shorts wearing weather because it's still a pretty minimal lightweight combination. Another layering option that adds some interest is to add a sheer layer on top of an existing outfit. Whether it's a sheer top over another shirt or a sheer dress layered over the whole shirt and shorts underneath, this just adds more depth and another layer to the outfit while also staying extremely light. I also have two suggestions on ways to wear dresses with shorts. I famously love a dress over pants look and that does not stop with shorts. First, if you have a button-up dress, you could either unbutton it entirely and wear it open as sort of a longer vest layer over any existing outfit, or you could just have it buttoned up on the top as a top and then leave it open on the bottom to have the shorts peek through. This works with long or short dresses and any type of sleeves on the dress, really any button up dress is fair game. And finally, of course, you could also just wear a dress as a top and tuck it slightly into your shorts. In this case, I would go with a shorter dress just so the fabric doesn't get too bunched up and so you can still see the shorts, but I think this is a super fun way to get more use out of both your shorts and your dresses. All right, now I just have a few other styling ideas aside from layering combos. And the first is using matching. Whether it's an actual matching set that you own or you're just able to find something to wear on top that has the same color or pattern as the shorts, matching sets always just feel extra put together and make more of a statement when you have like one consistent thing going on from head to toe. The matching piece on top could be a vest, an overshirt, a jacket, a blazer, or just the top itself. And you can mix those pieces with a different contrasting item like putting a shorts and matching blazer with a different top or pairing a matching pair of shorts and top with a contrasting jacket or you could also add a third item that also matches for an extra bold statement look wearing a denim jacket with denim shorts is a very simple but effortlessly cool version of this that you probably already own and even if it's not a perfect match but you have like two different stripes on the top and the bottom or two different types of plaid i think that can look even more fun interesting and uniquely styled and make even more of a statement. Another great tool for making any outfit look more styled and intentional is, of course, accessories. Hats, sunglasses, jewelry, a fun bag, cute shoes, and an intentional hairstyle are all common items or techniques that you probably have readily accessible to you, but they can all elevate an outfit and better develop the mood, the style, the vibe that you're going for. For example, this same basic t-shirt and shorts has a totally different mood when styled with these accessories versus these accessories versus these accessories. I also just want to give an extra shout out to shoes in this category. I feel like shoes are one of the most underrated part of an outfit that can really make or break the whole look to me. And I think having an extra stylish or unexpected pair of shoes with shorts can like bring the outfit to a whole new level so easily. Personally, my favorite looks paired with shorts are tall boots, a chunky loafer or other sort of like chunky platformy closed-toed shoe, or 
a chunky sandal. Back to accessories in general though, if you want to create an even more unique look, you can also use even more unexpected accessories like brooches, harnesses, or neck scarves. Brooches are great because you can add them anywhere, like you can add them to the top of your outfit, but you can also put them literally on the shorts themselves to make the shorts a little more special. Also two more accessorizing options that are very trendy at the moment, but I think are really cool are A, those like crochet shrugs. I asked you guys what those are called in a different video and the vast majority said just shrugs in the comments. So if anyone else is wondering, these are shrugs and I think they make a perfect addition to a simple tank top and shorts. And B, the other trendy accessorizing option is putting ribbons and bows on everything and anything. Just adding them to your outfit in your hair adds a little something special. You could also pin them onto your clothing. I also recently saw an outfit on Pinterest where someone tied these long dangling ribbons onto their belt loops of their skirt. And I was like, that's literally genius. But that inspired me to try the same thing with some shorts, which I think looks so fun. And my final general styling idea is just to combine multiple other styling ideas from this video together and to use these ideas as a jumping off point for your own creativity. So many of these suggestions in this video would be even cooler in combination. I'm sure you all will come up with your own new amazing creative ideas, so just let those creative juices flow, baby. Try combining all sorts of different things together. Finally, I did just want to mention some alternative garment options that serve the same function as shorts, but might just be a little more interesting in case you are in the market for some new practical summer pieces. Firstly, skorts are amazing. I think all short skirts should be skorts. Unfortunately, we don't live in that world. But if you can get your hands on a skirt you love, you can wear it in every situation where you would wear shorts, but it just looks so much cuter. Honestly, can't explain why skirts look cuter to me than shorts, but they just do. Another adorable option is short overalls. I freaking love overalls. They just have such a sense of playfulness and whimsy and have so much more character. I also love a workwear inspired look and they are so comfy. Finally, a romper is another great, super easy option because it's your whole outfit in one piece. I personally really like the ones that are more of a utility boiler suit vibe, like this one that I just recently thrifted. I'm literally so excited about it. And I like these because I can wear it all on its own like this, or I can like layer a t-shirt under it or a tank top, leave it a little more unbuttoned and incorporate other pieces into the look. And if you're not into this more utilitarian vibe, there are so many different kinds of rompers. There are ones that look really frilly and flared and ruffly like a dress. There are ones that are super simple and sleeveless that are more of like a play suit vibe. There are tons of different options and obviously what they all have in common is that they all have shorts built in. So you can wear them whenever you would be wearing shorts. Finally, I just want to give you all a reminder that when it's hot and you're sweaty and you just want to be comfortable, it is okay to just wear shorts and a t-shirt. Sometimes simple outfits are what we need in the heat and that's okay. Every day doesn't have to be turning out looks. Sometimes you just gotta live your life. That said, I do hope this gave you some inspiration and new ideas for your summer shorts outfits. I would love to hear any more ideas from you all in the comments. Oh, and I also have a Pinterest board of all the photos I used in this video, plus a bunch more shorts outfit inspiration photos. So if you're looking for even more styling ideas, I will link that Pinterest board in the description. And feel free to follow me on Pinterest if you want. Thank you very much for watching, and I heard if you leave a comment, watch another video such as this one right here, and subscribe to my little channel, you will have no issues finding shorts that fit you perfectly and comfortably this summer. And none of the shorts you try on will make you feel weird about your body. <laughs> All right. Bye.